All right, so I got two windows in so far. I'm gonna show you guys how I've been doing them. I don't know if it's the right way or wrong way or what have you, but it's the way I'm doing them. Seems to be working a little bit better. I'm gonna come back and seal up the edges later after the original inserts have dried. Cause I think that that's probably a better way to go about it versus than trying to do it all. So I'm gonna put in all the windows. I'm putting a bunch of caulk and the seam sealer stuff in there beforehand, push the window up in. This one was a little bit loose over here, so I got to support pushing it in so that I don't have to stand there and hold it and wait for it to dry. I'm gonna do the rest of the windows. I got to clean them first though. We only had three clean. So once we get those clean, then we can put those back in. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna move the camera over there, maybe get you a little bit better angle, maybe off of that thing or something, who knows. Um, but yeah, it seems to be going okay. It's not it's not too bad so far. So yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, they don't leak, which is the main thing. And they work still, you know, they still gotta go up and down. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's gonna work out okay. I think we'll be, we'll be all right. I got everything ground down really well. I'll show you that guy a little bit later. I got it ground down as far as I can go. I mean, I'm gonna put, you know, it's gonna be covered up anyway, so I ain't really worried about how it looks, you know. The sharp edges will go away. I mean, we just gotta be careful currently. Over down there, uh, right behind where the camera's at, I have uh, the stop sign with the air in and out. I don't know what to do about that. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I kinda wanna use the air for something. I just don't know what. Hopefully I'll, you know, hook it up to like a horn or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool, personally. But I gotta look at all that. So I, I left a weird chunk over there, but what are you gonna do? I'll figure out that later. But uh, for now, it's good enough to where I know I can at least get spray foam in there, which is the main thing I wanted. I wanna be able to get this spray foam once I get that skylight installed. But yeah, um, I just wanna thank everybody for watching the videos and uh, thanks for the support and the tips. Uh, definitely gonna be doing that uh, tip that I had talked to, I commented on last night about uh, wetting your finger and running it down and hopefully get a nicer bead <laughs> versus those windows. But, you know, it's a, it's a learning process. What are you gonna do? I mean, I've never done anything like this before. I mean, I'm just going off YouTube and websites and stuff like that, so. All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, let's see how we do today. Hope the good work on your own bus. So yeah, got the window in. Looks pretty good. They go in fairly easy, you know. You just pound them back in like you did. As we can see, over here, you know, it looks pretty good, you know, overall. No real complaints. The top part looks a little bit worse, but you can't see it because they got the little lip there for the rain, so no biggie. I'll give you a shot of that real quick. Actually, I'm going to run my finger up there real quick. 